The chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Dick Durbin, is calling for an investigation of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. What we called on Chief Justice Roberts to do is to accept the responsibility of the court. Uh, as Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court, he has to understand that Clarence Thomas's conduct is absolutely unacceptable from an ethical basis. To restore the integrity and the reputation of the court, they have to do something. An investigation followed by a change in the approach on ethics. Joining us now is Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, and he's the chairman of the Senate Budget Committee. Senator Whitehouse, uh, what can the Senate Judiciary Committee do? Well, we're going to have a hearing and keep the pressure on the court to do the responsible thing, just as Chairman Durbin just said. Um, the conduct of the justices with regard to their ethics obligations is on the administrative side of the court, not the adjudicative side of the court. So first of all, Congress has the ability to inquire and legislate in that space. And second of all, the Chief Justice has the responsibility to oversee that space if uh, he wishes through the work of the Judicial Conference, uh, which he chairs. So the tools are there to do a proper investigation. Uh, the Chief Justice has simply been unwilling to do that. And I think continued pressure on him to do this is the right way to proceed at this juncture. The, uh, the, the, the most uh, severe thing I think that we've discovered in the re revelations about uh, Justice Thomas is the, uh, the sale of the property in Georgia that his mother still lives in, that he owned uh, a piece of, because that, as we last discussed it, uh, is a matter of law. There is, there is law that says you must, you must disclose that. Uh, and yes. in the New York Times today, in his column, uh, Jamel Bowie points out uh, penalties for either falsifying or knowingly or willfully failing to file or report required information include fines of as much as $71,000 per omission and potentially a criminal referral. And he goes on to mention a, a case that was actually proceeded criminally on this kind of basis of, of not reporting legally required information. Uh, this is not a rule, this is a law. Yeah, yeah, and I, I would argue that the um, jet travel is the same because there's not a reasonable reading of the terms lodging, food, and entertainment that includes transportation by private jet. So I think both uh, are areas in which the uh, refusal or failure of Justice Thomas to disclose as required by law are sanctionable. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, uh, I wish we had more time for this tonight, but the Dominion case has eaten up a lot you of his minutes. Big night. We have a lot to get to. Thank you very much for joining us again, Senator. We always appreciate it.